measurement of high direct currents measurement of high direct currents okay so in this uh, there are two types of methods are there there are measurement of high direct currents there are two methods used to measure high direct currents there are first one is called resistutions first one is called resistutions and the second one is called hall generators by using these two uh, techniques we have to measure the high direct currents okay this hall generator is not only suitable for uh, high direct currents impulse current also possible to measure this hall generators okay so resistutions and hall generators first resistutions okay the resistutions is like like a, just like a uh, meters in ammeters okay for, for example to measurement of i uh, current in uh, pmmc so uh, low value of resistance is connected in parallel to the meter now that is called uh, uh, shunts by using shunts we have to measure the very high value of current am i right or not so similar way here also same concept so low value of resistance having uh, some terminals so having some terminals more terminals compared uh, three or four terminals i mean uh, four terminals low value of resistance having four terminals okay so the resistance shunts for high magnitude dc current uh, high current whose magnitude is to be measured passing through the resistution for low ohmic value low ohmic value of this is called shunt is connected to the parallel to the basic meter okay low value of ohmic shunt low value of ohmic resistance is connected to the parallel to the basic meter then we have to measure the high value of current high direct currents so okay the voltage drop across the shunt resistance is measured with the help of milli voltmeter which is connected to the coaxial cable like this okay so this is called coaxial cable uh, connected so like this patch so across the resistor because this is called milli voltmeter okay v is equal to i into r this is called voltage small amount of voltage can be measured okay this is called cc is called current terminals okay pb is called potential terminals r is called ohmic resistance so is having some small value of ohmic resistance is connected in, in parallel to the meter then we have to measure high value of voltage okay the value of shunt resistance is called 10 microohms to 13 microohms okay the value of shunt resistance is connected in parallel to the base meter that is called 10 microohms to 30 microohms depends upon heating effect okay if temperature is depending on temperature that means temperature changes the resistance of the shunt is also changes okay it is depending on heating effect and also loading effect that's why there is a voltage drop is less than 1 volts in power circuit so we have to use uh, the step of resistance for voltage drop is less than 1 volts per power circuit and uh, high current resistors are pile immersive type and are made a uh, three or four terminal shunt as shown like this okay so to avoid this term, uh, this type of voltage drop so voltage drop must be maintained less than voltage drop so for this high current resistors high current resistors are high oil immersive type oil immersive type and uh, are made uh, three or four terminal okay three or four terminals this is called four terminal shunt and this is called three terminal shunt so cc is represented by this is called current called current terminals and this is also called current terminals here this is called current terminal and here is called current terminal and pp is called potential terminals okay here p and p this is called potential this is called r is called ohmic element okay this is called four terminal shunt and this is called three terminal shunt okay three terminal shunt is i this is called current terminal okay this is called current terminal and this is called potential terminal so this is a call potential terminal is connected like this this is voltage across this uh, ohmic element it's called v so in this way we have we have to connect the this type of two elements because we want to reduce the voltage drop across the meter okay so by using this uh, this two resistive shunts we have to measure the high currents okay so this is one of the simple concept you know already studied in measurement by connecting low value of resistance in parallel to the uh, meter that is called by using shunts so we have to measure high direct currents okay so dc current high direct current means dc current okay this is about uh, resistivation so next one is called hall generator hall generator so this is the hall generator so hall generator is works on the principle of hall effect hall voltage and also lorentz force okay hall generator is works on the principle of lorentz force and also is called hall effect that is called hall voltage okay hall effect is used for measurement of high direct currents in this uh, all generator or uh, dc measurement measurement of high direct currents okay so it is uh, is used for all effect is used for measurement of high direct currents okay so this what is why hall voltage here means uh, you know well whenever uh, electric current flows through a metal plate 
place in a magnetic field perpendicular to it, the low energy force will deflect and the electrons in the metal plate in a direction perpendicular to the both magnetic field and the current flow. So like this. So this is called metal plate. Okay. The metal plate, uh, whenever electric current flows through the metal plate, place in a magnetic field perpendicular to it. This is called magnetic field. It's called magnetic flux density. It's called perpendicular to the magnetic field. Okay. So this is called mill el uh, all element. This is called all element is placed in the ma magnetic field perpendicular to the magnetic field. Okay. Whenever the electric current flows through the metal plate, is placed uh, in a magnetic field perpendicular to it, uh, then uh, the low range force will appear. The low range force will deflect the electrons in the metal plate in the direction perpendicular to the both magnetic field and the flow of current. So because of the deflection, some small amount of EMF induced in the metal plate that is called Hall voltage. Okay, try to understand this uh, paragraphs. Whenever a current flows through the metal plate, place in a magnetic field perpendicular to it, low energy force will deflect the electrons in the metal plate in the in a direction perpendicular to the magnetic field and current flow, current flow of current. Then change the displacement generate EMF. It's called Hall voltage. So like this. Okay, this is called Hall element. In this Hall element, a small amount of current flowing. And this uh, all element is placed perpendicular to the magnetic field because of this uh, 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 magnetic field and the current flow into the element. The low range force exists on this metal plate because of this uh, uh, low range force. Some small deflections present in this element because of the deflections. Some amount of voltage induced in the metal plate. That voltage is called all voltage. Here, all voltage is is equal to R into B into I d by d. Okay, R is called all coefficient. Here, all voltage VH is proportional to the B into I dear by D. D is called thickness of the Hall element. B is called magnetic flux density. And I is called current flowing through the conductor. Okay, we have to measure this called very high current. Okay. So, Hall voltage is called VH is proportional to the B into I dear by D. That's proportional. We want to eliminate this proportionality. So, we have to introduce one coefficient that is called Hall coefficient R. So, the VH is equal to R into B I dear by D. Okay. Where B is called magnetic flux density, I is called current, and D is called thickness of the metal plate, and R is called Hall coefficient. Understood? This all voltage is proportional to the current. So in this way, we have to measure the high direct current. Okay. So, so all coefficient, all coefficient R depends upon the metal material, depends upon the material of the plate and the temperature. Okay. Depends on the all coefficients depending on the uh, material. So this all coefficient R is depending on material. And also temperature. If temperature changes, all coefficient changes. Okay, that's why you must be care about uh, must take care about uh, this uh, temperature of this uh, measurement and temperature for this me measurement of high direct current in all generators. Okay, and uh, here is depending on temperature. So the so value of the Hall coefficients is very small. Okay, for metals and uh, ice for semiconductor materials. Okay, value of the Hall coefficient is very small for metals and I for semiconductor materials. Okay, so this is called construction of all generator. Okay, this is called, uh, this is about to, uh, some simple construction of the Hall generator. Okay, so in this Hall generator, this is called uh, this iron core magnetic, iron core magnetic material, this is called iron core. Okay, this is called DC current, high DC current, we have to measure this high DC current. Okay, this I, I DC current, we have to measure this I DC current. By using. The DC current which is to be measured is passed through the conductor. That is called this is. The I DC current which is to be measured is passing through the conductor like this. DC current which is pass, which is to be measured, this DC current which is to be measured is passed through the conductor. Okay, the conductor is owned on an iron core magnetic circuit. The conductor is owned on iron core magnetic circuit. This is called magnetic circuit is surrounded by the current, uh, the conductor. Okay, the magnetic core, this is called iron core magnetic is surrounded by the, this uh, conductor. Okay, so the magnetic circuit produces a magnetic field in the area. Okay, this magnetic circuit is produces the magnetic field in this area. This is called area. The magnetic circuit is produces the magnetic field in this area. So the magnetic field that is called magnetic field intensity is depending upon area. Okay, the magnetic field intensity is depending upon area. That is means uh, 
its gear gap is more magnetic field intensity is less that is called for example air gap is denoted by delta that is called delta is called air gap distance or depth this is called air gap in between these two magnetic material magnetic core in between these two this is called air gap in this air gap we have to place all element this is called all element this is called all element all element is placed in between uh, inside of this uh, air gap okay so here air gap and this in this place we have to uh, in this uh, gap you have to place the hall element okay so magnetic field is here because of this magnetic flux density magnetic field is induced and this magnetic field intensity it's is inversely proportional to the air gap if air gap is more magnetic field intensity is less your magnetic field intensity h is equal to 1 by delta that is called if air gap uh, is more than magnetic field intensity is less okay so air gap is less uh, this between this call air gap or air depth is less the magnetic field intensity is more okay the so delta is called air gap depth uh, distance or depth okay so here the hall element or metal plate is placed in the air gap formed by iron core magnetic circuit hall element is placed in the air gap here this is called hall element is placed in the air gap okay formed by iron core magnetic circuit uh, it is connected in series with a it is resistor and battery connected in series with the resistor this is called in series with the resistor and battery the hall element is connected in series with the resistor okay and is having bat battery small amount of direct current is passing through the hall element okay small amount of direct current is passing through the hall element so that is a uh, this hall element is connected by this small wave resistance and battery e understood so a small dc current id is passed through the hall element so because of this battery connection small amount of current small amount of current is passing through the this hall element am i right so because of this so according to the faraday's law you know well whenever a current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field an emf induced in it okay current carrying conductor is placed in a magnetic field this is called all element is placed in a uh, magnetic field it is experiences some emf okay okay emf induced in it so that is called hall voltage the voltage are emf developed across the hall element which is is called r into b into i divided by d r into b into i divided by d so is proportional to the uh, magnetic flux density hall voltage is proportional to magnetic flux density and also current flow into the conductor so this is called current flow into the conductor this current current is called uh, current flow into the conductor so according to this value of the current uh, the hall voltage is generated okay this hall voltage is current current flow into the conductor is uh, less the hall voltage is less is proportional to the magnitude of the current understood magnitude of the current this is called is called battery current is not uh, uh, this current here i is called uh, this call i is called current flow into the conductor means uh, that is uh, we have to measure i is called we have to measure that current is called uh, this dc current which are, uh, which is to be measure is passing through the conductor this current is called uh, dc current so we have to measure this current not this current id is called constant okay not this constant this current is called uh, so we have to place the current carrying element is placed in a magnetic field it is experiences some emf that is called voltage vh is is uh, voltage is proportional to the this current i and if the current flowing through the conductor is i the all voltage is i so according to this uh, proportionality so we have to measure very high value of dc current okay so this is about uh, all generator for measurement of all generator for measurement of high direct currents